Hey, if you've uh, ever had a spinnaker jaw st uh, in a stuck position, uh, it won't go back and forth smoothly. You've probably been told by Tyler or Harry or Carrie or any of the folks at Flying Scott that um, you probably lubricated this and that's what causes this to get gummed up. So I thought I'd make a quick video. You pull this whole thing out by removing the rivets. Just use drill bits carefully, not to make those holes any bigger than they already are. But get those bits out of there. Pull the whole piece out. And you'll notice this piece doesn't slide in and out easily. I've already fixed this one, so it, it works good. But you'll notice to get in this little groove right there to, uh, to sand it, um, you've got to remove this mechanism. There's a little pin right in this little hole right there, right there. So you just push this little pin out of the way. There you go. And then, oh, spring popped right out. There's a little spring. So now this mechanism just slides, or this little metal piece slides right out. And I was using sandpaper. This is 150, folded over several times. And I just was going back and forth. And it's still, when I put this back in, it wasn't sliding easily. So I just pulled out a 5 16 bit and I stuck it in this hole. And then I just spun it slowly and just kind of jacked the drill bit around to remove the tiniest amount of black material from the inside of this tunnel. And then cleaned it out. Put this little slidey thing back in. It moves very nicely now. Put the spring, put the spring back in. The spring goes in there like that. And then this pin's got to go in this little hole right there. So I don't know. Get it going. Hold this little pin in. Push that little pin down. Getting this little pin in is the hardest part. I'm sure there's a better way to do this than how I'm doing it. There we go. So now I've got this, the, the big metal piece, the spring in there, and then the little plastic pin or phenolic pin or nylon pin. It's all there. You line up the jaw with the other one, stick it in the end of the aluminum pole, line up the, these holes, and pop a couple of the new pop rivets in there, and uh, good to go.